My daddy told me, he said, never assume anything. You know? so you're, I wish you had my sketch. So I want to know that you're, you're, you're really, I mean, you know the House resolution, you know the crimes that the House resolution, you know, Bob Filner is on. House resolution 3, you know about that, right? Okay. And uh, you, you know that the not signing that House resolution is obstructing justice, and obstructing justice is a crime. And it's worth the treason. Are you aware of that? I want to know if you're aware of that. No, no, it's not an interpretation. It's, obstructing justice is a crime. Now, a, and you, you acknowledge House Resolution 333. Thank you for your comments. What, so what is your, are you going to sign? Thank you for your comments. I don't know if you learned me. I said I would continue to, to look at it. But Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And, and the, from the letter, I, I think this letter will help. <laughs> oh, the three of them. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you mentioned several times that uh, Bush, uh, that blaming Bush for basically lying us into this war, and I don't think anyone in this room would disagree with the, the fact that he lied us into an illegal and immoral occupation of a foreign country that never did us any harm. I would. But you signed on to it with your vote a few months ago, and you endorsed it. And the question this gentleman asked a few minutes ago, when this next vote comes up in September for more funding, are you going to support that? Right. The question is important because, as you said, you, it, one, one vote on one minor component is not going to end the war. But each step along the way is going to make it, is going to put the pressure on Bush to do what he needs to be done. And, and so I, I have supported every resolution, every bill that speaks to ending the war. And providing a way out. Um, but two months ago. It, well, but the difference in, in, in that other legislation was that I was giving permission to take money away from people who were serving in order to fund the work war. And I didn't think that was appropriate to do. That no, no one except Fox News believes that the well, troops aren't going to be able to afford ammunition to put in their guns. It was not the ammunition. It's 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 all the other stuff. No. Uh, not for the troops there, but even the, the families here. So. Um, I felt, you know, again, I mean, we have to make decisions on time. So I just want to say know. something really quick. There's a movie at Landmark La Jolla Village. It's called No End in Sight. I recommend that you see it. And then if, in, if you can see this movie and vote for that $50 billion, you have no conscience. Oh. Yeah. This war stopped. Right now. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, I just think that there is a real frustration here, and this is sort of our last chance. You're our representative, and history is going to show that the American people that we really don't care what our government is doing. And basically, it's our fault. And if you go back to Washington and you support this $40 billion for more destruction, for more cases of what, what was that, PS, PTSD, right, and sending more of our kids over there to kill more innocent people, I just, history is going to look at us and it's going to be much worse than the times of Hitler's rise. When, uh, so what I ask of you, everything is connected. We keep talking about Bush. We know that he lies. There is a bill in Congress. Bob Filner, the other Democrat in this district, has signed on to it immediately. We didn't have to keep asking him, and we keep asking you. My husband met with you. He's a, a military officer, retired. He met with you this week, and they're asking you to sign on HR 333, which is Dennis Kucinich, Bob Filner is a co-signer on that, and we're asking you to go back and really focus on that. An impeachment is an investigation. We need to investigate everything that's going on, everything from the fact that the 9-11 Commission that was appointed by this government, by this administration, the lead executive on that commission is Peter Zelikow, and I don't know how many people know in this room who Peter Zelikow is, best friends of Condi Rice, came from national security. He was the executive director. It wasn't a Keen Hamilton report, it was a Peter Zelikow. And I know people that were survivors of 9-11. I have friends who um, uh, 
uh, again, that I have met in the last six years because 9-11 has been very, uh, a very strange thing. And they spoke to those commissioners and they gave them information and Peter Salakow subpoenaed no one. He subpoenaed no one in this administration. So what I'm just asking is an investigation. We need, we need you, Susan. You're our representative. And we need you to go back there and really consider signing on to that investigation. And I know that... Continue to go because we we have about three minutes. What's the answer? What's the answer? What's your answer? Your answer. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to, to work with my colleagues. I do believe. Well, and I think we have very different districts. Uh, and I know it's hard to you know, but there are there are some different districts. Your district wants impeachment too. Well, no, it doesn't. How many people you want, you want to remember someone like this could have stopped Bush and did it? Like you. Well, I I I certainly <laughs> tried to respond that I think that there's a uh, constitutional issue that I think really has to be addressed. So I use the Constitution. That's a part of what we're to do. Reclaim our Constitution. Yes. But it is interesting. I mean, there, there really, there are a lot of um, members, you know, throughout the country, um, who, who are, are, are conflicted. I think with whether they can focus on all the issues that people demand of us to focus on, right? Especially Iraq, and 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 impeachment, because it really takes just about every. <laughs> every minute of time in order to, to be engaged in getting it off the ground and quickly, if that's going to happen. And, and, and impeachment, because it really takes just about every, every minute of time in order to, to be engaged in getting it off the ground and quickly, if that's going to happen.